Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is Mike here, Mike's Twitter page, and this is a little Hunter. Hunter's just waking up, as am I. Uh, Chopics, we're going to do a little quickie Chopic update this morning, a little something different. We're still going to go live this morning at 9, 19 Eastern here on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I want to talk about Fiona, give you uh, what's happened overnight, and uh, give us a quick update. Hopefully this one's only five minutes. <laughs> um, so the system is still sheared. Uh, here's a great shot. This is AM satellite imagery that just came out. And you can really, really, really see the exposed um, center right now with a lot of the convection firing uh, to the east. Definitely decoupled, uh, not a very well stacked system. It's not very organized. The winds have actually decreased a little bit. The hurricane hunters are flying in right now this morning. This is Friday morning. So we'll get some new data. They, they provided uh, invaluable data that the models use for their spaghetti models. But right here, you can see it. It's exposed center and uh, looking kind of sloppy. All the main convections uh, to, the, to the east. Uh, here's your latest track. Um, I like this map here because it kind of shows you the, the previous uh, coordinates. And look, we've had a little bit of a shift south. Uh, yeah, every run, it's been going a little farther south, and the NHC has been having to adjust their track on that just a little bit. Um, interesting. Uh, it might put more of the islands here, uh, possibly maybe some watches and warnings extending a little bit south here. The next update's at 11 a.m. Eastern from, from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, and then we, you know, we'll, we'll see what we got as far as this curve. We got um, uh, models... Pat, this is this is five days right here. Uh, the NHC cone extends out five days. So question mark still, you know, does this get close to the Bahamas? As far as the middle uh, western Bahamas, does it get close to the continental U.S.? The uh, overnight Euro and the overnight CMC last yesterday afternoon was actually making Florida landfall. Overnight, they've shifted a little bit. Um, and, and that's so common. Uh, the winds here, this is the official forecast track this is the the last dot on the cone uh is uh, 2 a.m the 21st at uh, 70 miles an hour so the nhc is starting to show its strength in a little bit once it once it gets past this spaniola look out these conditions are very favorable for development and uh, we could see this thing you know blow up into a hurricane very likely um let's take a look at some rainfall this is the uh latest Two projections here. This one is your uh, GFS, and uh, this is based on the current track the GFS is thinking. So there's your chart on the side. Anything yellow, orange is three, four, five inches. Purple and uh, gets into the the ten inch plus range. So definitely watching close here in some of these islands for you know a foot of rain possible. Uh, the purple areas uh, on the GFS kind of split between Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. Uh, the Euro is more over Hispaniola with some of those uh, seven, eight, nine inches of rain here. The guides to your right getting into Puerto Rico. So definitely a big concern for rain uh, regardless of wind speed. And that's, um, you know, coming this weekend. The timing here, also, real quick, uh, anybody in the Leeward Islands, you're going to start feeling tropical storm force winds today, Friday afternoon. Uh, and and it's gonna, they're going to last through the night into, you know, maybe early parts of Saturday morning. So this afternoon, you know, you should be ready, ready for some tropical storm force winds here as the, the system approaches. All right, so here's your latest spaghetti models on tropical tidbits. You know, you... You can dig deep at all these ensembles and look at all these runs, but we've always lived and died by the spaghetti models. Uh, and, you know, majority of these things are tugging to the north. So there you go. The average, if you had to pick, majority are pulling north. Um, and that's where we're at. <laughs> the uh, ensembles, you can learn a lot from ensembles. Uh, there are still some... Euro ensembles going to the east. You know, like I said yesterday, the Euro actually came over here. But one thing I, you know, we talked a lot about is even though the main operational run went into Florida, we still had a majority of the ensembles to the east. And the ensembles usually look into the future. So a lot of the European ensembles are still, you know, favoring off of the continental U.S. Um, GFS all over the place. <laughs> Uh, but the black line is your mean, meaning the average, and uh, again, and most of these are, you know, curving off. So the chance is definitely, you know, there 
for the continental U.S. and Bahamas, but you know the majority are still showing this eventual turn up. Now the latest Euro, you know, ten days out. This is Monday or Sunday, the twenty fifth. Already kind of hovering here off the east coast, but notice that big shift. Yesterday, uh, the Euro was into Florida, so still past five days, man. You know we're going to see these windshield wiper effects. Uh, it proves one thing: we can't really, you know, you can't really go all in on one model run and, and change your your thinking. You know, the Canadian was doing this yesterday and today overnight it's doing that so you know it, it, it's just it's classic you know we can't jump into uh you know one run you had to look at a blend of runs you got to look at weather patterns there's a high pressure building in uh the quicker this thing comes in off of hispaniola it appears the greater the chances this thing is going to uh, recurve up you know into the atlantic uh, still affecting Bahamas, still affecting our, you know, Turks and Caicos and in, in, in the lower Bahamas and possibly Bermuda. So uh, I wish it was clearer. <laughs> it's just not. Um, and here's a good look at the Euro coming up. This is uh, next weekend, and you can kind of basically see the, the look here. Uh, this is next Friday, seven days from now. And you can see it's expecting something here brewing down, a uh, lingering cold front. And uh, usually these block and allow a curve, um, and that's what a lot of the models are showing. The frontal line, this feeling that weakness and pulling up. The one scenario that's been playing out, if this our system slows down and allows our high pressure to build back in, that's when we have that greater chance of uh, missing that escape and moving on. So, so that's where we're at. Really, no big changes. You know, the overnight. Um, oh, we just had an update here. Let's take a look. 7 a.m. Oh, now we have a tropical storm watch for Dominica. So they are uh, updating the watches and warnings as the storm appears to be going a little farther south. So there you go. That's it. There's an update. We're going to be live here at um, uh, 919 Eastern. There's your latest track, five-day track. Usually pretty spot on. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it. There you go. Have a great day. Bye-bye.